Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm doing my very first project pan. I've been on YouTube for several years. I feel like I've been here for at least six years or maybe around there, but I've never done a project pan. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's basically because of how I thought about project pans in the past. In my head, it always felt very restrictive that I have to use the set of products and I can't use other things just because I want to really use that product up. But over the years, I've watched so many YouTubers that I follow doing project pans and I feel so good when they actually finish the product that they had planned on finishing. I think that just really motivated me to do one. Also, I think the mentality shift that instead of thinking of being restricted or limited to using certain products, when I rethink of how much money I've spent on certain products and that I'm just wanting to get full use out of a product. Because another problem I have is even though I like something, I will use that product religiously for till about 50% or 75% of the product and then I'll just stop. <laughs> Some part of me just wants to keep that product remaining even though I really like that product and I have enjoyed using it in the past. I have a lot of products in my collection that just stop once they hit pan <laughs> or once they are about at the 60, 50, 60 or 75% use. So that's another reason I want to actually get full value or full use from a product that I've already spent the money on and the money is gone. So might as well use the product up. I haven't really counted how many products I'm going to do for this project pan. And if I have the number, I'll put it up on the screen, maybe on the thumbnail or something. But the goal is to either hit pan on some of the products or if there is a pan on some products as you'll see quite a few of them have pans already the goal is to use them up completely also if i don't enjoy a product which is highly doubtful because i've only chosen products that i really love and enjoy using from the past so just in case if it does happen i will discard that product but i will keep you guys updated and I plan to do at least one six month update, but if there's a need to do anything in between, I might do like a quarterly update, so every three months. Another thing is that I haven't chosen any particular blush, no highlighters and no eyeshadow palettes because I know myself, it's just not practical for me. I love eyeshadows and I love digging into different palettes when I'm creating a look or even using one full palette if it has all the shades within itself. Uh, so, and I don't like repeating or using one particular palette. I don't know. Uh, again, I don't like restriction or limitations in general in my life. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason I didn't choose any blush because the blush color changes depending on what kind of look I create. And same with eyeshadows, it's a different color scheme every day. And thirdly, with highlighters, I have oily skin, so I don't use as much highlighter and I like to rotate my highlighters or choose one depending on the look and choose a shade with a different undertone. So yeah, those are the reasonings for why I didn't choose any highlighter, eyeshadow palette or any single blushes. So let's have a look at all the products I've chosen for my first project pan. Starting off with my base product, so a foundation that I really love and enjoy and I have on my face is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I have a few shades, but my goal is to use up this particular shade. This is the shade Cashew. And I have used up about, I would say 80% of it. There's only like uh, maybe around that mark remaining in this container there. You can see there, that dark spot. So although I have only so much hair, I've also made my own concoction here which matches me better than just this one shade. So that's what I have on my face right now. So the goal is to use up this completely and then make a new batch with this and then use this one up completely because I do have a backup for the shade Cashew. Sticking with base products, I have had this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for a few years now <laughs> and I shouldn't be having it. And I do think it's on its last leg, so I probably have like 20% remaining, I think, I can't really tell. So the goal is to use this one up, it's in the shade Ginger, if I haven't mentioned it. Now for primers, as an eye primer, I've definitely chosen my favorite, which is the NARS Eye Primer. This is a little mini size that I got a few years ago, I think. <laughs> 
but I always say with thinking that I'm going out to travel but where am I genuinely going and on trips that I go to India it's usually for a few weeks so I carry the big size thinking that this wouldn't be enough so I never end up using this so this year I definitely want to get through this because if I have to travel I can definitely take the full size it's not too much of a difference between this and the big size as a face primer this is a new one in my collection it's the Arborean matte cream I use a very small amount and apply it only mostly on my t-zone area it's a very smoothing and pore filling primer and I think I should get good use out of it I generally don't tend to use primers like even today I don't have any primer underneath my foundation so I just want to remind myself to use the huge stash of primers that I have and this has been my new favorite so hopefully I'll get good use out of this next I've chosen two powders from my collection to use up the first one is a powder I've had for many years and it's one of those products again which I really love but because I think the shade is discontinued Okay, let me talk about the product first. It's by Makeup Forever. It's the Pro Finish Powder. The shade I have is 123. So it's a lovely golden yellow tone and I really enjoy this product. But as soon as I hit pan, I stopped using it. So <laughs> I have brought it back into rotation and I do want to get either complete use of it or definitely more use out of this powder. So that's one that I've chosen. The second powder that I really love. You guys have heard me talk about it so many times. The Charlotte Tilbury Flawless uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. Again, I've hit a good pan, good sized pan in it. And I do think that I should be able to use this powder either completely up or at least 70-80% up towards the end of the year. Switching on to brows, I've chosen this Anastasia Brow Powder in the shade Dark Brown. And I tend to use just the darker shade from this palette to fill in my brows and it's a fairly new product as you can see I haven't used it much so this is going to be a challenge but I just want to see how much I use in a year just to keep track of it so so that's the product I've chosen for brows as an eyeliner I've really enjoyed using the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Call Eye pencils and this is the one in uh, bedroom black as you can see I have a tiny nib remaining so I haven't used it in a while and I can feel that the product is kind of drying up uh, it's getting stiffer and that tip just broke off <laughs> uh, so I definitely want to use this up it's also getting difficult to sharpen because this portion just twists the end um, so it's kind of tricky to sharpen it as well so but I do want to get as much use from it as possible and then discard it so that's the eyeliner I've chosen and if I get through that then my current favorite is the Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Glide On Pencil. So I'm just going to use this one once I finish the Charlotte Tilbury. I've also chosen a bronzer for my project pan. This is by MAC and it's their Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark. And I particularly like this shade because it has the right undertone for my skin tone. Typically when I look at bronzers, they're usually too light or they are two red or orange undertones so therefore I like this because it has that golden brown undertone which really suits my skin tone so I have used this in the past so much for more than a year or two I should say and I've barely made a dent in this huge uh, mineralized cake but I really am curious how much I can get use out of this in one year and how much dent hopefully I can see in this so that's the reason I've included this in the project plan. Next is another product by MAC which you've heard me talk about a lot on my channel and it's their Pro Sculpting Powder in the shade Shadowy which looks like this. As you can see it's a very cool toned dark brown shade which works perfectly as my contour but because it's so dark and because it's such a pigmented product I use a very small amount. So I've had this for a few years now sorry some of the crumbs just fell off so I just put this back in and I don't want to tilt it too much because some of it is kind of powdery because I had used this pan if you've seen it in the past but I had a ring of the powder that I couldn't get through with the brushes so I scraped all of it in and put it in the center and uh, compressed it with alcohol I already have a backup of this so hopefully I get full use from this pan by the end of the year 
I've chosen the Urban Decay D Slick as my setting spray and I'm almost done. I have probably like 10-20% remaining. So I will use this up and then once this is finished, I will start using my Scandinavia Normal Shine setting spray. A mascara I've chosen to get full use of is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And that's the one I have on my eyes right now. I've applied it on my top lashes. It is a really good mascara. It really thickens and lengthens the lashes and is also quite separating, but it does tend to smudge on me if my eyes get teary and it kind of irritates my eye as it breaks down. So I do want to use this up and get rid of this mascara essentially. For skincare, I have my lip balm which is the elizabeth arden eight hour cream this is such a giant container and i've had it for more than a year for sure i've used up most of it i have like i think 10 20 percent remaining but because it's such a thick lip balm it takes forever <laughs> to use up and then once it's done i usually chop off and then scoop off everything inside and i get complete use out of it so i think this should be done before the end of 2019 my current moisturizers, I rotate between two depending on how dry or normal oily my skin is feeling. In the drier months, I do use the Embryolis Lake Cream Concentrate. As you can see, I'm almost out of this tube, but I do have backups. So I will be using this one up and I don't see any trouble. It should be done like in a week or two in this current weather. And then during the warmer months or when I travel to a warmer country, I tend to use this primer so this is the La Roche-Posay If Eclair K Plus again I have I don't know maybe 10% 20% remaining in this container um, I do have backups so once I use this up I will open another one of these and since I'm a lipstick junkie I've chosen a few lipsticks the first one is one of my favorite lip liners at the moment which is by Colourpop it's their lippy pencil in the shade Wild Nothing it's just such a perfect mauve toned lip liner great for my pigmented lips it's this is what the shade looks like it's quite similar to the lipstick i have on actually so that's the one i've chosen because these are the kind of colors i wear on an everyday basis mauve pinky tones or then i go for my reds or brighter colors another lipstick i've chosen and this is what i was talking about certain lipstick where i've used most of it up but then i save the last bit just because i want to keep I don't know a memory of the shade or I don't know what it is so I had this uh, Kat Von D studded kiss lipstick in the shade Lolita this is the mini version and I have <laughs> barely this much remaining in the tube so I definitely want to finish this up and as I was looking through my collection I realized I have a big size one as well the same shade and again I fused up most of it and I've left this nub I don't know why so these two i definitely want to finish this year and sticking to the same color mauve pinky tones i do want to get good use out of the lime crime uh, liquid lipstick this is the matte velveteen and the shade is saint and i should have no trouble because these are some of my favorite colors to wear so i should be able to use most of this up and the last product i wanted to include is the start palette and I don't intend to completely use this palette or hit pan on any of these shades because I know myself it's completely impractical to think of hitting pan on any of these pigmented blushes and that bronzer. So I almost never use the bronzer, hardly ever. And then you get four blushes in here of which three are matte and this particular shade Dazzled has a bit of shimmer running, micro shimmer running through it. These two are my favorite shades, that's Crave and Darling. So I just want to see over the course of the year, how much of this do I actually use? So these are the blushes I tend to use on an everyday basis. And hopefully I'll just stick to using this blush palette for the entire year because it does have um, quite a variety of tones I feel like. And if I need to for certain looks, I will definitely get into my blush collection. But I just want to see in general how much of this I can use up. So that's it, that finishes all the products that I want to hit pan on or use completely or just see how much I use up for some of the products like the blush palette in 2019. So do let me know if you are planning to do a project pan or if you're considering doing a no buy or a low buy this year. But otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Open eye, 